Welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. A leak at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. Scientists worried about the massive earthquake. Scientists have found a peculiar leak in the Pacific Ocean floor and they are concerned that it could fuel the big one of magnitude 9 earthquake and that would be the one of the strongest earthquakes in United States has ever been. It has been the source of the fears in the Pacific Northwest for years. That may one day cause a massive earthquake. The leak which was spotted off the Pacific coast of the United States of America and the Canada experts say has never been seen before. The leak at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean around 50 miles off the coast of Oregon is spewing what was originally thought to be the water but the recent paper published in the science advances suggests that it was a warm tectonic lubricant. Previously, it was believed that the chemically distinct fluid was 16 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than the surrounding ocean water, but the paper found the liquid is coming from the Cascadia mega thrust or in other words from the boundary between the two of the earth's tectonic plates where the temperatures are estimated to be around 300 and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. This leak is also known as Pythia's oasis and is present in the Cascadia subduction zone or CSZ, a huge fault line that extends from Vancouver Island on Canada's west coast all the way down to the Northern California. Now what is Cascadia subduction zone or CSZ? CSZ is where two plates collide. It is possible that this fluid is regulating pressure between the continental and oceanic plates. The water gushing out like a fire hose is at the fault where underneath the temperatures are between 300 and 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That is why the water that is splashing out of the ocean floor about 50 miles offshore from the Newport, Oregon is warmer. The leak was first identified in 2015 by the University of Washington. It was found on the top of 600 mile long Cascadia subduction zone fault. Scientists watched the methane bubbles rising from the mile beneath the ocean. Ivan Solomon, a University of Washington oceanographer and co-author of the article describing this phenomena published in the journal Scientific Advances said if the fluid pressure is high, it's like air is turned on, meaning there is less friction and the two plates can slip. If the fluid pressure is lower, the two plates will lock. That's when the stress can build up. In this case, any additional water keeps coming out, report says this may be increasing the pressure at the fault and stressing the two plates. Then an earthquake could occur if the tension increases and the plates start to move. The massive earthquake in this region has been the concern for many years and was popularized in a 2015 New York story which warned that if it hit the Pacific Northwest, the area of the impact will cover some 140,000 square miles including Seattle, Tacoma, Portland, Salem, Olympia and some 7 million people and could cause the worst natural disaster in the history of North America outside of 2010 Haiti earthquake which killed upward of the 100,000 people. It could create a devastating tsunami like when happened Japan in 2011. The magnitude 9 earthquake named the Tohoku earthquake was Japan's strongest earthquake in the history and the third largest since 1900. It was triggered by the underwater tectonic activity in the North Pacific similar to what's occurring at the Cascadia subduction zone fault. This resulted in a tsunami with the waves reaching 132 feet high. Researchers are wary about the discovery of the lake because the Cascadia subduction zone fault was the site of one of the most devastating earthquakes in the history too. 
in 1700 a magnitude 9 earthquake struck vancouver island and caused a tsunami which completely destroyed the winter village of the pachena bay people leaving no survivors that's all for now for more news updates stay tuned with us it's tomorrow news for more global weather updates like this subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates